What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here today to talk Disney. Yes, that's right. We are going to talk about this Disney 100 Years of Wonder Chinese trading card set that has been sweeping the nation. We might have to ban it like TikTok. I am no Disney expert, but we have seen stuff like this play out time and time again. These boxes started out at around 100 to 200 bucks a box, 150. And they were kind of ticking along through most of the month of March. And then they got some heat. And boy, oh boy, you can see here earlier, end of February, early March, 180, 180. Then they spiked up to 300, down a little bit, kind of floated around the low to mid 200s. And then right here is where things got a little nutty uh, about two weeks ago. 250, 370, 500, 575, 625, 655, 650, 616, 610, and 622. So we've been over 600 for uh, three or four days now. We've been in this price range almost a week. So let's back up a little bit for those that aren't aware of exactly essentially what this is at a very base level. We're going to talk kind of broad here because once again, I'm a little out of my field of expertise talking about Disney stuff, at least collectible in the collectible space. These are, like I said at the beginning of the video, these are from China. They cannot be sold in the U.S. directly from a shop or a store. They like A, a shop can't order them and then sell them to you. It's not the way that it works. Uh, you know, I've, I've ran into this before with uh, the Weiss Schwartz Marvel stuff. You know, you couldn't order that from a local store. You had to order it from overseas and had it, have it shipped over or get it from someone over here that had it shipped over from overseas because their license to use the characters is restricted to only be sold in the country that it's coming from or a certain region, basically. Just once again, painting with a kind of a broad brush here. So these are designed to be sold in China. The cards do look good. I get it. Uh, I'll pull some up here. Here's just some examples. Let me zoom in on these. On the singles, there is air quotes autograph cards, which are not actually really autographed. It's just printed on there. Those are numbered out of 100. There's refractors. There's speckled refractors. There's gold. There's black prism one of ones. It very closely mirrors what we would expect to see in the sports card world. And you can see some of these prices are insane on the singles, which has been what has been driving, to some degree, the box prices. The singles prices, the box prices are kind of going hand in hand right now. It's a feeding frenzy of pump, basically. So this obviously feels pretty pumpy. They're, it's a tricky product because like those that knew kind of got in early and then kind of let the market just go absolutely crazy with it. And I don't think anyone expected to get this crazy, but like there's all this mysticism around it because you can't just go find them. Uh, you know, someone gets a case and it's all like, well, how'd you get that? Where'd you get that from? Oh, I got it from my guy. I got it from my guy. I got it out the boat. You know, it's just like a whole bunch of nonsense around these things. Um, I would highly recommend if you are kind of intrigued about this and just Disney stuff and really collectibles in general, but specifically Disney, I would go uh, check out Pancake Analytics on IG. He's been talking about this a lot uh, and just collectibles in general. He has really great insights on everything. I actually DM him about this because I know uh, that he follows the Disney stuff uh, pretty closely just to kind of see if my suspicions were kind of on point, at least once again, kind of broad base. So this feels like the classic pump is in the air. These things are going to the moon. You'll be able to retire off of them. And, and there's kind of two things. I don't, At least this is me speculating here. There's almost kind of two things going on here. There's those that have a vested interest in this product doing well pumping it up. And then there are those that are kind of pre-pumping Lorcana. So we've talked about Lorcana before on the channel. That is the new Disney TCG coming out uh, in a couple months, comes out in the summer. That was the one that had the promo cards from D23 that in PSA 10 sold for air quotes, thousands of dollars. This 
feels like it's kind of, I don't want to say softening the ground, but like, you know, lighting the fires that is going to fuel the pump on Lorcana when it comes out. Now, be careful with Lorcana. It could be printed into the ground. I don't know if it's going to be or not. I don't know enough about it at this point. But it's a TCG. It's not like there's numbered cards in there. They can run those printers in, in, until they just die. They can just print that thing and print that thing and keep on printing that thing. Now, it's always tricky on TCGs of kind of managing the print runs. You don't want to put too much out there and make people mad, but you also want to put enough out there to kind of build up the hype. You know, you don't want it to be like readily available, but you want it to be like available, if that makes sense, you know, because that kind of feeds into the nature of, oh, no one can find this stuff. Oh, did you see? Oh, Target got some. Hurry up. Run. We got to run. We got to camp out. And it, it does sound like this stuff's going to be re available in retail as well. Lorcana, that is not Disney 100. So though they are two separate products from two separate companies, they are obviously both in the Disney realm. And it does kind of feel like at least some of the heat slash pump, whatever you want to call it, get your tinfoil hat out behind Disney 100 is probably hoping that this carries into Lorcana because they probably already either have a bunch pre-ordered or have some backdoored or whatever the case might be. Who knows how the market's going to accept Lorcana, but probably out of the gates, it'll probably be super popular. My concern with Lorcana is people buy it. It goes to the moon. There's not enough out there. People gobble it up thinking it's going to keep going to the moon. And then the company comes in and prints like reprints another massive batch and then tanks the market on it. And then a bunch of people are left getting burned. Now, if it's super popular, it'll bounce back. We see that in Pokemon. You know, Pokemon will do a reprint. Uh, they'll reprint Evolving Skies. It dents the price a little bit. And then over a couple months, it ends up bouncing right back to where it was because the demand's so high. We don't know what demand for Lurkana is going to be like. Like I said, no expert in the Disney world, but we have been around long enough on this channel. When we see something skyrocket like this, what goes up must always come back down again. And I, I, I just, maybe I'm underestimating the Disney crazy people out there, the Disney super collectors that got to have it all regardless of price because they are out there. I mean, they're Disney, you do not mess around with Disney. I hope I don't get a hit put out on me just for making this video. But be careful out there. That's all I'm saying. If you're buying these things at 600 bucks a box or even crazier, if you're buying the singles at these prices, like I, I didn't look at the bid history on some of these, but there's a lot of best offers accepted on here. Uh, you know, that's $7,100 on bids. I did not review the bid history on that. A $4,200 best offer accepted. $3,500 best offer accepted. There's some crazy stuff out here. $2,800. This is the 101. This one actually looked like it had some weird bidding on it. I remember looking at this one before. $2,400 for a Mickey and Minnie. Absolutely. Well, actually, this looks like the same. This is a little suspect. Yet yeah. they just have two of them. I don't know. Same exact listing photo sold on the 20th and the 21st for the same price. Eh. You know, complete sets for 1500 of various different things. 2100 for gold Cinderella. Uh, the prices on this stuff are absolutely wild. This is for card binders, uh, double-sided card binders, 10 of them for $2,200 for the freaking card binders. I think you get a card with the card binders. I don't remember. 2,700 bucks for Mickey. Like the single prices are wild. And then, like I said, the box prices uh, are even more crazy in the $600 range. I've seen cases go for six, $6,500, close to $7,000. Actually, uh, someone I know that sets up with had a, got a couple boxes on the cheap, not the cheap, couple hundred bucks when they first kind of came over on a whim. Uh, he sold one at a show for 600 bucks. Happened right in front of me uh, at the Washington PA show this past week. So they are moving at that price, but boy, oh boy, I would be skeptical. You know, it's not for me. Uh, it, you know, uh, this isn't a product designed and built for me. I, I would never be tempted by this in any way, shape, or form. But if you are, just tread with caution. Maybe do a little bit extra homework on the prices and the bid history and make sure things look legit before you trust comps on this stuff. And then the other takeaway here is tread lightly with Lorcana. Be a little careful. I may try to get some boxes of Lorcana. Just to sit on, maybe quick flip for some tendies, maybe stash a couple away, just to kind of play it out. But I'm treating that like 
a, a lottery ticket. You know, if I buy a couple boxes at whatever they're going to end up going for, 200 bucks, 400 bucks, whatever they are, buy a couple stash away. I am, whatever I spend on Lorcana, I will be willing to just that that money turns into zero. Uh, so I just think that that's kind of also important to kind of keep in mind, because like I said, I do think at least a portion of this is wanting to pre-pump the Lorcana train uh, because people see the feeding frenzy around Chinese cards. What's going to happen when... Uh, the U.S. cards get here. Now, I will say I do think from a pure, if I am just Disney collector and I want cool cards of characters that I like, I actually think this Disney 100 set looks way better than the Lorcana stuff because the Lorcana stuff's going to have game text on it, you know, various different symbols and all that kind of nonsense. The artwork looks really good on them based off the the images that we've seen so far. But the Disney 100, they did, to give to give some credit, they knocked it out of the park with the design. The images look like what you'd want them to look like. They really kind of copied everything that makes sports card parallels work. Silvers, fireworks, prisms, this, that, and the other thing. Numbered out of 100, 101s, uh, you know, case hits. They they did it right. So I, I, I get how this could catch fire. But I do feel like it's kind of jumped the shark at this point. So that's kind of my two cents on this one. Uh, basically buyer beware, tread with a little bit of caution and, and have your eyes open walking into the Lorcana firestorm. So that's all I got for you boys and girls. Be interesting to follow along to see how these boxes hold up, uh, over the next, you know, three weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, et cetera, as we move throughout the spring and summer to see if they can hold at prices. They are limited. Uh, I forget how many cases they made of this thing, but there is not like, People have figured out kind of the print runs on it, and it's not printed to the moon, so that could actually potentially help box prices stay kind of high, as a lot of people are ripping these things because the single prices are so high. But tread carefully, my friends. We will catch you boys and girls on the next one. Peace.